one. I did not wake up like this. I I just decided to film the intro in bed because then I won't have to put pants on. So today I'm going to be showing you my brutally honest morning routine. Be prepared. Prepared. Ugh. This is hard already. Be prepared to be both disgusted and underwhelmed. So first of all, my alarm goes off in the morning. My alarm is a different sound almost every week because after about 10 consecutive days of being woken by a particular noise, I develop PTSD towards that sound and can't hear it without my entire body being overwhelmed with dread. This is today's alarm sound. <laughs> Give it another week of that and I won't be able to go anywhere near a pond without instinctively flailing my arms around searching for an alarm to snooze. Anyway, after leaving the loving embrace of my dinner sheets and the only thing that will ever give me any kind of comfort in this world, the first thing I do is expel the self-loathing from my body in liquid form. I then assess whether or not my hair requires washing. And then, regardless of the answer, I throw it in a bun and put it off till tomorrow. I usually end up scheduling my social life around my clean hair days. And because those days are so few and far between, I usually spend my free days naked on the couch eating three times the recommended serving size with at least five assorted snacks. I then go ahead and wash my face. Note that I'm also washing off all the makeup that I put on to film the first part of this video. Now, one might argue that this is a terrible waste of product, but one might also argue that putting makeup on my face in the first place is a terrible waste of product. Sometimes there really is no cure for ugly. I always end up consuming about half of the of the face wash. I like to keep my face clean and my jokes dirty. That is my motto. Keep your room dirty and your criminal record clean. Because as we know, anyone with a clean room is probably a psychopath. You're welcome, Mum, that your daughter is not a convicted felon and does not clean her room. And now applying some toner. I have no idea what this does. It's, I'm pro for all I know, I'm probably just wetting my face. And now I'm probably just repetitively slapping myself. I still do apply toner because all of my f well, all of my pretty friends use it and I'm very easily influenced. I then go right ahead and moisturize because my face is as dry as my jokes. I then go right ahead and apply my sun cream. Why? Because, well, firstly, I'm so pasty it's difficult to take photos of me in front of a white background because I just look like a wig product photo shoot. And secondly, because I live in Australia and everything kills us, including our third ingredient to photosynthesis. That was weird. Oh my god, I was... Okay. Give me all of that SPF. Mmm. I then return to my room and put on one of the two outfits I've been cycling through for the past eight months. This usually includes my famous fat pants because, as we all know, every day is fat day. <coughs> So on a normal day I won't wear makeup because I like the naked look and I'm an exhibitionist from the neck up but also mostly because I have nasty ass skin that implodes at any given moment. I can't wear foundation without breaking out in a violent rash so I stick to tinted moisturiser. My saving grace that will actually probably not even come close to saving me from my poppin' acne on this fine day. Yummy yummy. By this point you've probably noticed my eyebrows. My Oh, I put too much on. My eyebrows are always a problem. And today they're looking like the skitties I left on my toilet bowl this morning. I'm kidding, of course. I would fix them, but... I won't. I'm talking about the skitties, by the way. These eyebrows need some serious attention. Well, I haven't rubbed this in very well. Is this all rubbed in? Oh, uh, yeah, this'll do. Where's my eyebrows? I don't know if I can... Ugh, I feel like... Ugh. <gasps> oh, no, there's... This just went all over the floor. Let's fill in the brows. The pressure of doing makeup on camera is getting to me. By the way, the camera's actually really far away, so I can only see... Wait, no, I can't see anything. Hold on, I feel like this is boring. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm also gonna take a quick pee break because apparently I can never finish filming an entire video without needing to pee. I think all of my friends think I have chronic diarrhea because I pee so much. But in reality, I just have a tiny bladder and love water. The only time I'll ever exceed expectations is when it comes to my daily 8 litres. I blow that one out of the water. So the next part of our morning routine is drinking lemon water. Why? Uh, because, because anyone who's ever been sponsored by a beauty product drinks lemon water. Beyonce drinks lemon water. Need I say more? I'm surprised we're not putting it on our face. In most beauty regimes, any kind of food product just seems to end up on your face. To be honest, oh. I feel like none of the pips were supposed to make it in here, and yet all of the all of the pips are in there. Oh, no, there we go. There's another pip. 
that can go into, apparently. Honestly, if I were to ever make one of those face masks out of food, like avocados and stuff, none of it would end up on my face. It would all end up in my face. Also, if you haven't noticed by the way things are going, this is actually the first time I've ever made lemon water. But I told myself when I woke up this morning planning on filming this video that after today, I would start drinking lemon water. I didn't bring a spoon. I think if we just blow on it, it'll mix. Ah! Not bad. I like it. Actually pretty refreshing. I also really like matcha green tea, and that isn't a lie. However, I'm not gonna make myself a cup of it because that would be a, a fat lie. Because I normally drink it about once a month whenever I wake up and remember I'm supposed to be healthy. I think matcha green tea is like a superfood as well. Maybe. Mm. I mean, it's essentially the Hulk in liquid form. Superfood, superhero. Whilst drinking the Hulk might not help you to stop looking like the Hulk on a good day, it might give you superpowers, which is what the media tells us it does. I think the best part about drinking all this healthy stuff in the morning is that it'll be easier for me to justify eating my weight and carbs later in the day. We then move on to making my first coffee of the day, which is frankly also a fat lie. This is my third coffee already, because you best believe there was no way I was going to film the first part of this video uncaffeinated. <laughs> the thing is, my day doesn't really start until my blood is at least 40% caffeine. Oh my god, there's flies everywhere. <gasps> I have like a family of flies on the roof. There's a family of flies on the roof. They don't even pay any rent. Exquisite. I then repeat this action between four to five times daily until I almost lose control of my bowels completely, but not quite. Today, probably up to eight. <gasps> I didn't eat any breakfast. I didn't eat any breakfast. I didn't eat any breakfast. Well, okay, mm, this is my honest morning routine, and honestly, on most mornings, I don't eat breakfast. Scandalous. I know. Come for me in the comments. See if I care. I've got my coffee. That's all I need. We knew that my first internet scandal would be Ella Watkins does not consume most important meal of the day. Scandalous. Horrific. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see my brutally honest nighttime routine. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying this morning routine. I don't know why you would. I don't know why you'd put yourself through that. But if you do try it, let me know. Uh, um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up here because, um, I need to poo. You guys know the drill. If you're not already subscribed, you know what to do. If you're planning on subscribing, make sure to hit the satisfaction and subscribe.